Welcome back to Empire Earth. The cities of Tyre and Gaza have been captured. The kingdom of Egypt has surrendered without a fight. And when Alexander made a pilgrimage to the shrine of Amun in the western desert, the high priest there hailed him as a living god king, son of Ra, anointing him the new pharaoh of all Egypt. But Persia remains a thorn in his side. Persian forces, reformed and still led by Emperor Darius, are threatening to renew their hostilities. They must be dealt with once and for all. As if the Persians weren't enough, ugly rumors of an assassination plot have reached Alexander's ears. Though uneasy, he knows he must press forward, for there is no other direction he would even consider to go. Somewhere in Asia, his destiny awaits. Our journey into the western desert was a success for Lotus. The priests of Amun have accepted me as the son of Ra. Since you serve me so well, I am appointing you commander of the Companion Cavalry. Surely I am the luckiest man on earth to have you as my friend and my king. I can think of no greater honor in life. We are at the beginning of a great adventure, my friend. The wide world awaits us. Hail, sire. Our scouts report that Persian Emperor Darius has assembled his troops near a village called Gagamela. Unless we meet him and crush his forces there, all your conquests thus far will be in vain. Give the order when you are ready to march, Craterus. Our goal is to defeat Darius and seize the tomb of Xerxes in Persepolis. Well, well, well. What do we have here? This should be Persepolis. Oh, they've got a lighthouse here just in the middle of the city. Tower of Babylon. Okay, another Tower of Babylon. And what do we have here? Tomb of Xerxes, which looks basically like the Easter Gate. Temple of Zeus is here as well. Man, they're worshipping everyone. And the Pink Village. Okay, but before we get to any of these, what do we have here? Okay, so this is not our stuff. We do have quite a lot of food, but we probably don't want to rely on that forever. So we could just build a farm. Do we actually... Yeah, we have the ability to get new citizens. And that is good. So how much lumber do we have here? We have a bunch. So you get me some lumber. Some guys are going to do some agriculture in here as well. Yes. As you wish. And maybe I'll send one, two, three, four more of you in there. So we'll have to see about other resources for the time being. Okay, so we, have, we already have a built base in there. So that, that, that's nice. That is very good to know. So we have Kratos here, Alex here. We have that is here. You are you my you're the healer guy. I kind of want you to, to stay back, and you here will be slightly clustered here. We have to see where the Persians actually are. And then maybe you can just lure them towards us again. Regarding upgrades, let's maybe see what happens later here, and then we'll see. As Alexander again plunged into Asia, he knew he had to plan carefully. Citizens in Gaza could provide food and lumber for his campaign, but gold and iron would be harder to come by. He would have to plunder what he needed from the cities he conquered. Craterus and Philotus would be indispensable to him during this operation. If either fell before the tomb of Xerxes had been seized, disaster would result. Well, well, well. Let me just do some general recon here, even though this, this desert seems to be fairly empty. And then see that we get an impression here. I guess this is just the, the coastline. I don't think there's much there. 
Uh, you know what? You can actually. You can you can join us here. So we do have plenty of land out here. But let's see what we can find those villages. I guess there's one here, but the question is that the only one, or is there more? We'll, we'll have to see. Okay, so we can build more companion cavalry, but I don't think we need a huge army right now. And we can maybe wait until we have a better impression of what we actually need. You know what? More food. Partially because it slightly bothers me that the field isn't fully exploited. Let's go through here. We, we're not going to have lumber issues anytime soon. So can we actually reach the village from here? Do we have to go elsewhere? No, we... we know. So let's, let's just use the all-knowing all AI for that. But let's, let's take a bit of a break here. Now we have more points. How many points do we actually have? We have 19 points. It's not that many. If you want an advanced upgrade, that might only get you one or two, if at all. So let's wait a little bit and let's see what we... I don't think we need ships here, but who knows. I mean, ship upgrades, the, the time for those was doing the last scenario. Okay. The real question is, are there any Persians between us and... There's a village here. Also, this is a far way away. Okay, okay. So this myth is huge, maybe a little bit larger than it needs to be. I know it's supposed to represent kind of the all of the, well, at least chunks of Middle East and Asia. Uh, and, well, depending on what you define as an indigenous village in Alexander saw two options. He could destroy their town center, construct a settlement, and then turn it into a town center of his own. Or he could plunder the village, raising all the buildings to look for gold or iron. Both had merits, but which to choose? Well, well, well I guess we could just rebuild this. Let's get one, two, three, four, five of you here. I guess we could just raise everything and then just rebuild our own village here. There's a bunch of guys here, but most of it seems to be workers, and these guys are not they are not exactly highly advanced, are they? Let's just go full murder. Yeah, it's not, not really a problem that we're under attack right now, right here. So let's just destroy everything here before we destroy that town center. Let's get some new villagers over here. And you destroy some fields. Alexander, the natives speak of a great Persian vassal city called Babylon. A citadel of great wealth and beauty. Perhaps there are stores of resources in Babylon for us to plunder. We'll see about that. Well, for the time being, let's just destroy everything. I wonder for, for what exactly we actually get resources, because we haven't received resources yet, but who knows. Maybe we have to raise everything and then we get like one batch of resources. Well, for some reason I can't target this anymore. Oh, well, now it's dead anyway, so who cares. Let's draw these fields here, please. And I probably want to build more production facilities here as well, because I don't really want to power through all the way from over here. Could could do it. I guess he could also destroy some of the here. I love that in Age of Empires 2 as well we can just step the fields. I don't know there's there's something endearing about that. Oh they actually do have more warriors here. Oh I guess maybe I wasn't supposed to approach the situation here from this 
this angle here, but well, never mind. It's not like these guys are any sort of challenge, anyway. So the Guild of Steels won't last long. Let's try these granaries as well, and I think that may already be it. Let's see what the exact objectives here are. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna wipe out the whole village. <laughs> yeah, then we have to destroy the Babylonian army. But let's let's see about that. First the village. There we go, thank you very much. And let's see what's over here. There may not actually be any natural resources here. Yeah, these guys are just getting, getting them up. But we'll see. A lot of everyone here. Good, 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 good. And then let's just destroy that town center. In this, so is this just another village here? Because the the native village was mentioned earlier, but who knows? Doesn't really matter. Yes, my lord. Certainly. As you wish. Just load up, and then we're gonna build our own town center here. Good, good, good. Almost there. These indigenous people have been wiped out, and the plunder from their homes has been delivered to Alexander's war chest. Genocide. Let's constru construct our own town center here. Seems like we're not really being attacked here. Everybody else is kind of hanging around. Let's populate this. There we go. We can also establish our own base here if necessary. But first, let's see. Ooh, look at these very two dimensional fields. Yeah, we maybe want some production facilities set up there, but let's see. Can we actually just march in here, or is this cut off by, the, by water? It may actually be just fully cut off. Well, maybe not. We have come upon the Imperial Persian army, led by the Emperor Darius and his top commander, General Bessus. Men, to battle! When we have destroyed half of their forces, my lord, I've no doubt they will break and run as they did at Granicus River. Well, well, well. If it isn't the half your army's dead wall. Okay, let's get everyone into position here. So, well, then again, we, we could build, build way more guys, I suppose. So maybe it's gonna get a couple citizens here. We can always kill you later. And should we go for Babylon first? Because I'm not how easy or difficult it is. Then again, if I can draw these guys out, maybe I can just do it like that. You know what? Time to time to oops, no no. Time to potentially sacrifice you here. You maybe get me. Uh, which, what does it actually mean? I'm not quite sure. Self healing. I mean, you could get that as well, but it does cost a stone. I'm not sure how. Okay, so you should leave, and then well, we did. then let's see how this goes. As long as we have Alex here with some healing, a bunch of spear boys here should not be that much of an issue. Oh, these guys here come after us as well, okay, that's fine. You are composite bows, not composite bow archers, so just, just composite bows.
Yeah, these guys here can take a lot more of a beating. But I guess that, that's to be expected. They look a lot fancier. Okay, how about we get... Um, I can't rebuild really that here because is this not flat enough or so? Could be, yeah. Okay, build me that here. And then maybe a stable here. And then maybe a barracks there. Okay, okay. How many points do we now have? We have 19 points still. Mm hmm. Uh, did we have some catapult upgrades? I believe we did. Well, I think it was a siege engine upgrade. I think a generic one, yeah. Armor, armor could be hit points, maybe. Well, we'll see. We'll save a bit because it seems for this scenario here we don't really need them. Yeah, but I'm a bit worried about the elephants because when I was playing as the Athenians against the Spartans, those elephants did some damage. Hey, here are the immortals. Okay, so let's just go back here. Yeah, this this always works. There's quite a lot of guys here, but we should be able to keep them coming after us for at least a while. Yeah, you know what? You can actually attack this guy. That's a nice way to absorb some damage. We have broken the morale of the Persian the army. They are running for their lives. Now, we must decide whether to pursue them immediately yes. or rebuild our strength before engaging them again. Is there actually any point in pursuing them immediately? But in, in any, whatever the case is. It seems, I guess numerically, they probably still have their better units left, but well. Anyway, you, you just hang out here. Do we actually have any relevant upgrades anywhere here? No, seems like we're pretty much done here. So let's see that we explore a little bit more. We could get more companion cavalry. I do like those. They're, they're, fairly, they're, they're fair, fairly powerful. But maybe also want to save some resources for... So here we have. Oh yeah. Okay, so we, we're not allowed to just destroy everyone here. But I guess this village is just here for... Just, just for flavor. Oh well. So let's maybe go down to Babylon. If I were to go down here, which route would I go? I guess we have to have to go back there. Yeah. Your command. Yeah, okay, so we have Babylon's on this side here. Yes, which it should be, because if this is Persia, then at least modern day, day Iraq should be here. Good, so let's let's explore what these guys have and what the situation is like with walls and whatnot. And then we can see what we want to build to potentially destroy them. Can we even build a, like the siege works? Siege factory, we can. Okay, maybe we want to do that down there. Well, let's see about that. Yeah, maybe I want something like a Temple of Zeus, but I've got limited stone and whatnot. So it may or may not be a good idea to, to spend some of that. And the thing with the healing is it's fairly slow. And Alexander can heal our entire army in a fairly short amount of time. Yeah, this map is a little bit too big for its own girl. Hey, New World Cactus. Oh, hey, look at you here. Moorish infantry. Okay. Gonna follow me? Yeah, they're horsemen without horses. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Let's see whether we can attract the actual horsemen this time, which we have not done yet. Oh, we don't actually have any Arctos. These are just all javelin guys. Let's see. Seems like the Babylonians hired some... I guess they're called, yeah, they're called Moors here. But, I mean, they could be made from India, but could also be from maybe Nubia. Who knows? Yeah. Come over here. Ah! 
Yep. Below this, you can take some damage here. You're a hero unit. Good to good, so we're gonna, gonna leave it at that. I mean, surely they have to have walls here. If Babylon doesn't have walls, that would be weird, but who knows? In this game here, anything could happen. This is actually a fair amount of guys, but you know what? Okay. Pilotus can can take can take it. Yeah, I just love how laser focused the AI is on like, oh man, we're pursuing this one guy here, we have to kill him now. That is that is the way. Yeah, you just hang out here. And everything's gonna be just fine. Get more comps to both. And there we go. Everything's just fine. You, yeah, we have to watch out for our hero units, but if you're being honest, they're so powerful. Unlikely that they're ever going to fall in a skirmish like this. Okay, so who's, who's left here? Ooh, one guy here. Oh, you, you're in trouble, my friend. Uh, but you're actually a bit more powerful than I thought. But not powerful enough. I can just I can just damage rush here. The Babylonian army is vanquished and the ancient city has surrendered. Babylon's great treasury belongs to Alexander. But he must personally go into the city to secure it. Well, well, well. I guess we're gonna do that then. You can come down here, maybe I need you at one point. As you wish. Yeah they have yeah they have their lighthouse here. Not quite sure. A little bit far away from water, but then again. I'm not a light lighthouse expert, so what do I know? Well well well. Let's take your best mates here along. And let's go in. Kotera is still... Nobody has given this guy a horse, even after all his years of service. Oh well. So, where's, where exactly are we supposed to go? Maybe over here? The Babylonians have surrendered the Imperial Persian treasury to you, my lord. Your coffers have been replenished. Okay. I guess that's it then. I, th I thought it would be like some special event or so. Kind of nice that they have these fields around the city. I guess that makes sense. So how many points do we have now? 29 points. Okay, so we're going to see what we need, like siege-wise or so. Then maybe we... We want to want to spend some time for the last battle, because I think we have spent... We have spent points on most of the units we're using here. Not quite all of them. I think we, do, we don't have... We haven't upgraded the javelin guys or so, but it's it's not absolutely essential. But you know what? I think I'm going to get the more companion cavalry because I like those guys. Actually, well, that's the barracks, so I'm not sure why I did that. Four of you. I wonder what is actually the counter to elephants? I really should have looked that up, shouldn't I? Because wood and golds. And maybe one, two, three, four, five, six of you. Seven, eight of you. Then I could build more. It's here, but it's not really that important. You cost so you cost iron. So there's essentially no total trash units that just cost food and wood. But otherwise you could probably just build a complete trash army out of these guys here just to use some Age of Empires vocabulary here. Good, good, good. Yeah, it seems they're not really under attack, so this feels very tactical in the way that you have to like, manage your resources because you don't have full, like a full economy with all available resources. Yeah, I have the feeling that there aren't enough scenarios, at least in this campaign here so far, where you just, you just build a base and do stuff. But oh well. But let's see where the Persians are hanging out now. Do you have a fair amount of stone? But again, uh, I don't think the Temple of Zeus is going to do that much. You could build some towers, however. Towers and walls, that may come in handy at one point. Okay. okay you guys are hanging out here. 
So you here just march south. You're gonna get the, the rest of the guys over here earlier. So this is actually the correct way. Let's just see what route would you take. Okay, so it's not the correct way. Okay, let's just see where you hypothetically would would go. I guess just just here. Okay. Yes, my lord. Certainly. Okay. Yes. Your command. Got a bunch more extra no. troops here. Who doesn't like that? Yeah. Let's let's find out where the Persians are hanging out. Lots of fields here. Okay, here apparently. Hey, elephant. You, you just can barely see anything. You just hang out here, okay? That, that's fine. You have got a nasty bottleneck here, which could be good or bad. In any case, let's see whether we can lure the elephant over here. Yep, AI is insisting on, on following us here. Okay, you, you, you do you. Well, I guess the elephant does transfer damage because we we have to heal a little bit here without anybody having been directly attacked. Okay, a couple more of you here. Maybe... Yeah, let's see if we can attract a bunch more guys. Yeah, I thought that these tactics are... Did they just kind of hang out at the ridge here? Oh, well, if, if that's what you want, be my guest. There's more of these boys here. We have pursued the retreating Persian army to a great defile, which is heavily fortified. We are awaiting your orders. Beyond this mountain pass lies the city of Persepolis, capital of the Persian Empire. Alexander's conquest of Persia will not be complete until he enters the city in triumph. The earth will tremble. Let's build a siege factory here. Yeah, you, you can take some damage here, it's, it's gonna be fine. Alright, alright. And let's save some pop for our siege engines. <laughs> yeah, just a knight the defending army. Suppose that's what we have to do. You're gonna get yourself healed this time or not? Because Alex doesn't always like to do that. What can you actually build here? We can build stone thrower, the ram, and the catapults. Mm -hmm. The dust cost gold as well. No, builds doesn't get. I guess you're not that special. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Now let's see whether whether there's more guys we have to lure away. Otherwise, I guess Alex plus catapults can probably just take out these towers no problem. We've done that before. Are we though? Uh, okay, so these are just yeah. Let's try to attract a couple more of these guys. We don't have to walk back and forth too much. Too much. We probably could just move that over here. Well, 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 what do they have here? Is it? Yeah, that's another elephant there. Was it a just a melee elephant? We'll have to see. Man, these, these javelin guys here—they yeah, can throw some javelins. Okay, this is... Oh, this is the elephant archer, so what are you then? Oh, this is the war elephant, okay? That's fine with me. Confuse those two for a moment. Okay, okay. You have to be like in the same group to be also be healed. But I mean, surely that shouldn't be a criterion. Anyway... Maybe build some catapults here. One, two, three, four. I mean, we probably don't. As long as we keep healing, we probably don't need that many, but I also don't want to sit there forever. Okay, so here's the gate as well. We have. Oh, hey, Darius is just hanging out here. Hey, Darius, how, how, how's it going? How are you doing today? In any case, let's retreat here because we're taking a bit too much damage here. And then we're going to get Alex and the catapults in there. 
It will take a moment because those need a while to be constructed. There we go. So you hang around here and recover a bit. Thankfully you do heal. I guess I could build a hospital. Yes. Certainly. It does cost some stone. Oh whatever, let's just build it. As you wish. Do we actually have one here? Oh, that doesn't appear to be the case. You, yeah, you just just build one here. We have our catapults to be ready. Good, good, good. And then the catapults and Alex are gonna destroy these towers here. Another catapult's almost half ready. This looks kind of odd. I can kind of see why they do it like this, especially if you maybe want to construct something like a sea shower, I guess you need scaffolding and whatnot, but this just looks like a half-finished structure. Then again, it's not like they have, like, dedicated, that everybody had, like, dedicated siege factories or so. There we go, another catapult is ready. There we go, that should accelerate things a little bit. That's because 50 gold, I have that money. Yeah, some hero healing here. We have a lot of food, so we probably don't need that many guys on the fields, but who cares, really. We have Totus get some rest here. Good, good, good. And next catapult's almost ready. Okay, so Alex and the catapults are gonna take point here. You here, you'll be nice and freshly healed once we're... This is so clanky. Uh, once we are uh, done here. Yes. Certainly. As you, wish. you know what? You shot me some lumber here. Certainly. I mean, I, I don't really need it, but at the same time. But you may as well do something. I, I could kill you what just so you didn't take pop space, enough. but I'm not super desperate for pop space right now. The earth is not Let's take this tower here. Which will actually not outrange us. Okay, I forgot to check whether these guys actually upgrade. You know what? I'll take it. That's nice, nice, nice. But if I hadn't got the upgrades, then they would outrange. Or at least we would be on equal footing here. In any case, Alex, you're gonna stay here because you're still gonna be useful, like emergency healing in case the units come out of. The city here. Can we just catapult Darius from here? That would be pretty fun. Okay. For now, you just come over here. Okay, then let's see. Oh! Okay, I guess oof, yeah, these catapults are probably not going to get away here. Yeah. Okay, Alex, you're going to have to do some healing here. You know what? Try to get away. This might, this may actually work. Hmm, that actually did work. Well, well, well. I'll take it. So you heal everybody here. Thank you. Looks like Darius came not out of the city himself. Acceptable. We can kill you later. Oh, the totus. I should probably bring you along here. Yeah? Good, good. And then let's see whether you can just... Oh yeah, we need to actually erase that guy. Uh, let's see whether you can just catapult this guy here. What a weird way to go if that actually works. Hey, it's... Essus. Man, this guy's just taking it. Look at this. It's like a champ. He's just... I don't care about your rocks. He's regenerating, but not fast enough. Okay, well, that was uh, not very dignified. 
It seems the the oh, oh oh these are actually units are they? No, I thought those those were the various units like the, the eagles. It looks like the the heroes have a slightly different AI because I do recall them retreating more aggressively. Well well well. Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna catapult you here. Fine. I don't care about your 46 attack. Which is a lot. It's a little lot more than Alex had. This guy, but uh, Kratos is even better. Yeah, but this guy here... Yeah, it's pretty powerful. And he also has a Trident. This looks very much like a Pitchfork. Even more so than a regular Trident would, but yeah. The Emperor Darius and his royal commander Bessus have been slain. Alexander of Macedon is now overboard of Asia. When Persepolis has been captured, the entire Persian Empire will be his. All hail the King of Kings, Alexander. Well, well, well. I guess going through the walls, is that faster? I'm not so sure about that. I mean, they do... Uh, they do have less hit points, yeah. Slightly less hit points. You want everybody, everybody else just attack the gate. You yeah, remember that bit when Darius the Third was killed by Quark Catapult throwing rocks at him simultaneously? Pretty wacky story. What's our exact... So let's see. We've got a lot of points now. So maybe... Mm -hmm. You know what, Archer? These are actually fairly expensive, so maybe we don't have that many points. I guess we could get speedier cavalry or so. You know what? I don't really care. I would say, hey, we're gonna save this until later. Like, you know, like potions in an RPG, which you always have to save for the boss of the dungeon. And then you save it for, like, the real boss. And then, like, the final boss. And then the final boss's final form. And then like the post-game bosses, real form or whatever. And then you never use the potions. Wow, well, these are not going down at all. You know what? It's fine. We can just squeeze everybody through here. Good enough. Did we even have casualties? I'm not sure. Anyway. Doesn't matter too much. Well, 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 this is a pretty narrow pass here. Let's go. Yeah, we would have needed none of these extra resources. You could just march straight in here. Okay, so are you... Wait, 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 wait why are you so hostile? I thought I, thought I could just march in here now. Ev evidently not. I guess that wasn't the final battle. Okay, let's see. Uh, Pyrtus, where are you? I have no idea, but you know what? Doesn't really matter. You're going to attract these guys here. Okay, then just retreat. Look, <laughs> these little immortals here just waddling past me. I think these guys would have given up by now, but I guess not. Okay. Okay, oh, you are following me, okay. You can do that. Okay, so we still have to defeat the rest of the Persian army. Let's see how much rest of the Persian army is actually left there. Oh, more elephants, okay. Actually, quite a lot of elephants, okay. Let's take a step back then. Yeah, let's make sure you actually move back here. So who's left here? Oh, oh, oh there you are. Let's, oh, that's a lot, a lot of elephants. Don't defend Alex here. But it should probably be okay. There we go. Yeah, everything's gonna be fine. 
You just heal everybody up a little bit. Nice, 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 nice. Are you trying to heal the guys in the back here? How very kind of you. You get out of the way here, please. And you do some more healing, and then we can destroy that tower. But first, let's check whether there's even more guys left. I mean, if you face all of these armies just in open battle and try to micromanage it while they happen, this is probably considerably more challenging, but it be, I have a feeling there's almost no reason to do that. I don't know. Okay, hey, is that, are you the final alpha? Looks like it, yeah. How many hit points do you actually have? There are 20, not that many. But yeah, no experiments now. There we go. I also like that they have one tower left. That's actually not what I wanted to do. Get out of here. And you just destroy this, please. Alex, you just heal everyone in the meantime. Yep. That's going to... That was your casualty scratching nicely. I'm not sure whether we've literally not, not had any casualties. Also, there we go. Swift appears. Let's see whether there's anybody left here. Okay. I guess we still have to destroy the gate here. Uh, no, we're not allowed to attack that. Uh, can oh, there's oh, there's still guys left there. Okay, well that that's fine with me. Well, well, it's just this one siege engine here. Oh come on! Where were you before? Troops have smashed the army at Persepolis. As the mop up of enemy resistance continues, Alexander must ride to the tomb of Xerxes inside the city. Capturing that symbol of Persian might will be his crowning achievement. All right, all right. Let's do that then. Let's get our buddies ready. What's the exact objective? Okay, just just bring Alexander to the tomb. We can do that. Alexander has entered Persepolis. Once he seizes the tomb of Xerxes, a hundred years of Greek humiliation will finally be reversed. Yep. Massive war to deal with your own insecurities. You might let's just have everybody else just march into the city because I feel like doing so. You can just hang out here. Another treacherous plot to take Alexander's life has come to light. He must make certain the conspirators are all sent to their graves. Ah, oh, we can do that. Seems like they're mostly just cavalry. Assassins are dead, and the tomb of Xerxes has been captured. Alexander's triumph in Western Asia is now complete, though darkened by one realization. Philotus, the commander of the Companion Cavalry, was part of the conspiracy. This once trusted friend must now be put to death. The path of greatness is never an easy one. History claims Alexander wept when he had no more lands to conquer. But perhaps 
as he stood alone at the height of his power, there was another reason behind the tears. And there we go. Well, we move out. Let's just check the map out. It seems like there's, there's pretty much nothing here. There's actually another village here. Ah, I guess that that's another village you can plunder, but it really doesn't seem to be particularly necessary. Maybe if you just confront the, the Persians head on, but I didn't do that. So everything's going to be fine. Also, I wonder, can you... No, you can't really go down here. I guess you, you could theoretically without killing all the troops, but that seems rather unlikely. And that, my friends, was the Greek campaign. There's still three more campaigns to go. Well, actually, we did have the tutorial campaign, so this wasn't really the first one. It's the first proper campaign. And next is the English campaign. If I remember correctly, thanks for watching and see you next time.